Hi, good morning, Joe. That's right. We're here outside of Bellevue where Dr. Craig Spencer, uh, the patient who's been uh, confirmed to have Ebola here in New York City, is in isolation in treatment. Uh, we know that he's 33. He was working with Doctors Without Borders in Guinea, one of the three affected countries in West Africa. Now, we know that he arrived back in New York uh, flying into JFK on the 17th. Um, on Tuesday night, uh, it was said that he was starting to feel sluggish, feeling tired, but it wasn't until yesterday morning that he became feverish. Uh, and it's important to note health officials say uh, Ebola is not contagious unless patients have fever. However, we do know that uh, Dr. Spencer was out and about on Wednesday night. We know that he took the subway, uh, that he went to Williamsburg to a bowling alley there, uh, and that he may have also been at the High Line Park uh, and gone to a restaurant. Um, but Mayor uh, Bill de Blasio yesterday in a, a news conference emphasizing that people who have taken the subway with him shouldn't be worried, uh, that there's little risk having been on the car with him, um, considering he wasn't feverish at the time. Um, and it's also important to note that uh, Thomas Eric Duncan, who was uh, the first patient diagnosed with Ebola in the U.S., who was in Dallas, had 48 contacts in the community uh, and among healthcare workers. None of those folks um, came down with Ebola in the community. It was healthcare workers who did. Um, so that's a concern here. But Bellevue is one of the designated hospitals uh, in New York to be prepared for Ebola, and they're handling that here. Now, um, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo yesterday also emphasizing that there were a lot of lessons learned from Dallas, and we know that CDC is sending an additional team of people here to help with the efforts.